So my name is Richard hughes Rollins. I'm the EMEA Regional Product Manager for the stationary printer family. That includes the desktop printers and the industrial printers. Today I want to tell you about the new desktop printer, the entry-level value tier ZD200 series printer. At the entry level, price is often a very important factor, but you don't have to give up on features or performance with Zebra. It's built to the same standards, the same quality, and in the same factories as the rest of the Zebra printer range, including the ZD400 and the ZD600 series. In this video, we're gonna take you through unboxing the printer, setting the printer up, and in comparison with its predecessor, the GC420. So, when you get a ZD200 series printer, what do you get? You get the cardboard box we have here. Standard Zebra shipping materials, looks like any other printer at this point. So let's open it up and see what you actually get. Um, first thing you notice, and the first thing you're gonna use, if you've not done this before, is the setup guide. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later on. Also on the reverse side, uh, we have packing instructions, should you need to get the thing back in the box at any point. Open it up, two power cords, standard kettle style, Euro and UK power cords. A bit more unpacking, um, USB cable, uh, type A, type C, standard printer, pack, printer cable, uh, power supply. Again, pretty standard stuff for the desktop printers from Zebra. A little bit more paperwork, uh, the safety guides. Um, very short safety guide, very necessary safety guide in lots and lots of languages. Uh, and a new document is the uh, regulatory guide. You'll see this in quite a lot of printers now. So this has all the compliance statements uh, about the printer uh, in it as well. A little bit more uh, unpacking and the printer itself is revealed. So let's take it out of the box and have a look. And there it is, ZD. 220 direct thermal model. The first thing you're going to notice if uh, this is the first time you've seen one and if you're using uh, the GC420, uh, which is this product replaces, is the color. Color is very different. Uh, this time we're matching the rest of the color palette that we use uh, on our uh, printer family, matching the rest of the desktop range, uh, largely gray exterior, uh, yellow touch points, and a very simple user interface. Let's take a look and see how simple the uh, ZD220 is to set up. Uh, and I'm gonna use the setup guide uh, as uh, help for doing that. If you remember, this was on the uh, first thing you see when you open up the printer. So step one, install the software. Um, really does help a lot if you actually install your software first, particularly on Windows. So get the drivers loaded, get your application loaded. First step on the instructions. Setting up the printer, step two. Um, let's open it up. There's no media loaded at the moment. We're gonna do that in the next step, but we need to connect the power supply. So uh, the standard desktop power supply, which is connected to the mains already, uh, and you'll notice there's a little green LED uh, on the power supply, so that's showing us the uh, power supply is good. Standard sort of connector you, you get on the desktop printer family, and it goes into the back of the printer. Printer has an on-off switch. This one is on the front of uh, the printer. So to turn it on, you need to push the switch on the front and you can see that the uh, LED uh, lights up indicating the printer has power. So the next step, we're gonna load some media into the printer. Open it up with the two yellow touch points on the side. Standard clamshell design uh, folds up and stays open. You can see the print head there uh, in a position that you'd expect, uh, and the media guides are there. Again, yellow indicate these are things you're meant to touch. Uh, the media guides here are adjustable, so you can uh, open them as far as you need for the media, spring-loaded, uh, and they return. Uh, they also have a, a lock on them, so if you're using fan-fold media uh, supplied externally, you can actually lock uh, the guides into position. Well, we have some roller media today, so that's what we're going to use. The other thing you may need to adjust is the sensor. Uh, again, a yellow touch point. The sensor, you can move it from the middle position all the way across to the edge. So depending on the media 
uh, you're using. Uh, if it is uh, something other than a standard rectangular format label, you can actually move the sensor uh, across to the right position. So the media loads in, you, you open it up, you put it on the hanger, you put it through the two integrated media guides on the front, over the platen roller uh, and out the front, and then simply close it up. Printer LED goes green, and you can press the pause button to feed a label through, printer automatically calibrates. That's as simple uh, and as easy as it is to load and set up your ZD220. The ZD220 is replacing the GC420, so let's take a look at the two printers. The first thing you notice is the color. Uh, clearly, uh, the GC uh, is in the older style colors that we used from some years ago, uh, whereas the ZD200 series uses the new brand look and feel. In terms of the user interface, what you see on the GC is a single control that integrates the LED, uh, whereas on the ZD, those are separated out into a separate feed and LED status indicator. The power button is on the front of the ZD and on the rear of the GC. Let's open them up and have a look on the inside. You see the use of yellow again on the ZD to indicate those areas you're meant to touch. The roll holder and media guide are one integrated component on the ZD. As you open the printer up, the roll holder moves and the media guide moves. On the GC, there are two independent uh, movements. So you have to adjust both the roll holders and the media guides on the side uh, to set it up for any given media. So from that point of view, the ZD is easier to use. The GC has a single sensor fixed position in the center of the media, whereas the sensor on the ZD220 is adjustable all the way from the center of the media out to the left-hand edge. So if you're using non-rectangular media, you can adjust the sensor to correctly position the label.